I reloaded the game and uh, we finished this conversation here. Report, soldier. Any luck? None, sir. We persuaded him. We threatened. Oh come on. Why have my? Sorry about that. Him. We even beat him. Still wouldn't talk. Unsurprising, though. Sadly. This one's stubborn. Too stubborn for his own good. Still, you did all you could. And that's admirable in itself. Now go. Get back to your regular shift. Damn it all. I'm at a loss. Oh, let's talk about that. Divines. How can I get that damned? What was that conversation about? It was about possibly the most stubborn prisoner we've ever captured and incarcerated here. We caught him crossing the border a few days ago. Since then, he's been raving incoherently. Well, he's coherent, but near delusional. We've been meaning to interrogate him, but every time I've sent one of my soldiers to do it, he's refused. And, you know the worst damned part? I feel for him. He's clearly somewhere between naive and insane. And the Penitus Oculatus aren't the most merciful sort. They'll come for him soon, make no doubt about it. And when they do, he'll face a fate much worse than any of my troops could dispatch. It's not the best situation, but my hands are tied. Uh, I'd be happy to assist. It's not common practice, but considering what the alternative would be, and how uncooperative this particular prisoner is, I can't really say no. He's in the prison wing of the fort. One moment. Take this. A letter proving that I've given you authorization to go in there. Best of luck. And thanks for helping us with this. What is it? Uh... What's like duty on duty here? tumble, to say the least. This place is damned freezing. I don't tend to cross the border. This is as close as I get to the cold climes of the Nord homeland. I guess the Nords serving with us are used to this. They laugh it off while they rub their beards and puff their chests. But I can't stand it. If you mean the border itself, though, few people tend to come through. The Empire does know how to lock down a border when it tries, so we're here mostly as a last resort. All right, what we need to know is, uh, do you know where this person is? Harren. Oh, yes. Harren. He and a handful of other Imperial soldiers went missing some time ago. Why do you ask? Do you have some information on his whereabouts? Well, that's not surprising. Nobody wants to become a widow. We've received nearly a sack full of letters from her by now. That poor girl. I haven't had the heart to respond. Not until I've discovered some clue to what may have happened to him, at least. What can you tell me about his appearance? Not much, truth be told. One day, he and his fellow soldiers just up and vanished. A band of Legion soldiers don't just up and vanish like that. It's unnerving. Clandestine organization unnerving, if you catch my meaning. Unfortunately, no. The Geralds are vast and perilous. The list of possibilities is about as large as Knoll Mountain. And just as imposing, sadly. I was tied up handling interrogations lately. Otherwise, I'd have looked into it more. Maybe talked to some of the troops. Not sure if it's just my lot, or if all soldiers have such a knack for endless gossiping. But... Well... Maybe they'll have theories to check out. Sorry I couldn't be of more use. I swear, border duty will be the death of me. Alright. So it looks like we'll go figure this out. So let's go in here. Oh, for Pell Pass. Let's go inside. Let's imagine all the cars are inside right now. I don't know how many there are. I only saw a few. But we might do this other mission once we're done with this one. The one I just received. 
I was up. You what were, is it? Yeah. He was up? patrolling the Pale Pass. The road, not the fort. The day he went missing. Sorry, that's all I know. Talk to you later. I don't Can I help? You an investigator? Haran was a tough soldier and a loyal friend. I don't know what could have taken him down. Sorry. It's probably gonna be someone who's named, right? Yeah. Like I said, it's gonna be someone that's named. What is it? Hmm? Now Hello. can't you talk to him anymore? Hello. Oh, there's so many here. Hmm? Can I help you? You can wipe them all up. No, I don't have names. There's so many of them. Wooden door. That's what you guys get for not telling me information. And this, I'm taking your venison. It's delicious. All the blood just mm, out of my mouth. That sounds weird. They're all asleep. The other ones probably have to, the ones that are named have to be like a guard post or something. That's what I have to find. Maybe that one guy he was talking to. This place is Big fort. I'm like really lost already. Like all the guards are like in one place. Okay, let's see what's out here. Hello, anybody up here? How about you, sir? Hmm? The legate has no idea, and I'm not much more informed than him. But well. I have a theory. One of our own came staggering in, severely wounded. A group of us rushed to help him, but it was too late. He was gasping for air, but I, I could have sworn he was trying to say Stormcloaks. If Stormcloaks are the culprits, though, then the question is, how did they cross the border? We've got it pretty well guarded on both sides. There's an old cave nearby, filled to the brim with bandits. Some like to speculate that it comes out in Skyrim. Maybe... No, couldn't be. Well, it's an old wives' tale, but... Well, it might be worth checking out anyway. Old place is called Serpent's Trail. Let me show you on your map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does anyway, so yeah. I remember where it goes out onto... Uh... Can I help you? You know, Skyrim. I probably freaked that guy out because I just legit just <laughs> jumped off the building, yeah. This is probably where we need to go. Here, like guard or something? No. Kind of just abandoned. I don't want to keep jumping off stuff. Ugh, the old inn. Guys, let's head inside the Serpent's Trail. I feel like we could have already gone through here before. 
Not even noticed it. What the clues we're looking for. Cave that big game. <laughs> 